सो हाई एवरी वन एंड वेलकम टू माई चैनल क्रिएटिव स्पेस एंड आज का ब्लॉग बहुत ज्यादा इंटरेस्टिंग है हमारे साथ है विवेक एंड वर्षा अ वेरी क्यूट अडोरेबल कपल हु लव नेचर दे हैव दर ओन प्रोफेशन जिसके बारे में आई थिंक दे विल इंट्रोड्यूस दम सेल्व बट this was very very fascinating for me um, how they uh, are nature lovers how they can call butterflies or birds through their own medium so without any further ado let me welcome vivek varsha thank you so much for coming on my channel and welcome to creative space thank I, you so much i uh, thank you so much neha for having us on your show and we believe that uh, whatever we say today it might have a very positive impact on uh, many minds and you know you can see the transformation happening for the betterment of society in nature i hope so yeah i hope so too and uh, please introduce yourself in brief like what do you guys do so yeah i am vivek uh, i am 45 and uh, she is varsha she is my wife for uh, 12 years now and we have known each other for a long time but we yeah, are married for 12 years and um, i am a mechanical engineering graduate i have worked in uh, various multinational companies For around twenty years, and uh, recently, last year, I quit my job because you know the corporate life was getting a lot to to me to my head. You know, I could not pursue the things that I love most, and it was always the eight to six thing. You know, so yeah, that is why I quit. Okay. And, and about Vaishya, yeah, I everybody, uh, thank you, Neha. for giving us this opportunity and created this platform uh, to share our views to share our pla- uh, passion with you all uh, i am 35 year old i have done my mba in human resources in, i worked for in the corporate for about 7 years and uh, finally i quit my job in 2015 to pursue my passion of photography and uh, so i you know i have lot of other time in hand to pursue other passions uh, like gardening so i love gardening um in our free time we visit uh, different places we explore nature uh, we spend time with butterflies birds and bees yes that's all it is uh, we have lot of lot of free time because we are freelance wedding photographers so when it's not the wedding season then what we do I, and i'm a birder as well so so i go out to the field with my camera and then i observe bird behavior and i you know go to various places to see different birds from there so that's okay. what we do in free time we just get up take our car pack our stuff and go for a month or so drive everywhere anywhere that we want amazing what a lovely life you are living i must say that and uh, using free time for such uh, uh de stressing i think you would de stress every day uh that's very important so very very nice um why uh, next question would be how did you get exposure to this form of you know beauty in your life where did it all start from kahan se shuruaat hui okay so bachpan mein like uh, when i was a kid so we had a stand alone house and uh, we used to stay in one of the greenest areas of bombay mm. it's a place called mulun so it was not very yeah it was not very developed uh, mm. in the 80s and 90s Just, it was you know, surrounded by greenery salt pans and marshes and everything so when kids my age used to play cricket and you know uh, all those things which kids do i would go up to the terrace and i would just keep on looking at the sky for hours together you know watching the uh, kites black kites tabhi it was a rarity now black kites you find like crows yeah they yeah, have yeah. black kites because they're, uh-huh. because they're scavengers they eat rotten food and everything in the garbage bins but at that point of time black kites was very huge bird yeah. and used to find only one or two you know so that was very fascinating fascinating for me and we used to have woodpeckers as well back in the day 20 25 years ago so yeah that is then when i felt you know it was more uh, peaceful and you know i could find solace in nature rather than playing cricket and all that regular stuff to the other things okay that is how i my you know my connection with nature grew over time yeah okay so varsha from where did your interest arise into this uh my mom is a botany student 
and uh, since, since childhood she is always uh, been talking about plants insects and all other different creatures so my love for plants grew since childhood all okay. thanks to my mom and uh, we had planted lot of different edible plants at home we used to cut and eat them as a child and we still do that at home okay uh, so once a few years ago my mom called me and she said varsha yahan pe na jhad mein kuch kide kha rahe hai mere jhad mere curry leaves ke plant mein i said don't know anything about it i just come and she just stays 5 minutes away from our house okay we went rushing we saw that there, there was a green cute little caterpillar eating away the leaves of the plant of the curry leaves and then i clicked pictures and i sent it to lot of various whatsapp groups of nature lovers and they immediately uh, recognized identified it as a common mormon species of butterfly caterpillar and i was amazed to see that i mean we have always heard about different species of butterfly you know as ye cycle hai egg se caterpillar right. banta hai caterpillar se butterfly banta hai but we have never seen it uh, in reality so i just took that caterpillar home with the plant and for next 20 days i was all inclined to the plant continuously watching uh, clicking pictures and taking uh, watching the behavior the tiny little caterpillar a not so good in good looking caterpillar turning into a beautiful butterfly that experience was amazing unexplainable and i got so addicted towards uh this metamorphosis this butterfly life cycle that we planted about 200 plants at home on our window grill uh, on a host and nectar plants and uh, for we have about uh, 25 species of butterflies which have visited our balcony till now and we have bred and rescued more than 100 butterflies uh, oh, much more much more than that Oh. So that was our journey, and uh, now we are uh, we have to set up a butterfly garden in a farm uh, near Pune. It's called at, as a hidden oasis farm. So we have a big space there, and they have given us full freedom to plant all kind of host and nectar plants. And it is a, such a beautiful experience, such a beautiful feeling to help the nature survive. because the butterflies don't lay eggs on any random plants they need specific host plants they will not eat the caterpillars will not eat on any uh normal plants they need their own species imagine those species of plants go away from nature and there will be no butterflies oh. and butterflies are the indicators of a uh, good environment good air quality so we need the butterflies and bees they without them we won't survive really and they are such, such tiny creatures imagine yeah. what wonders they are i mean i can see the passion uh, in your you know voice and how you talk in the, the glimps in your eyes i mean it's very fascinating it's very interesting thank you varsha for sharing this piece of information uh, we will of course talk in detail uh, going ahead so my next question now would be um, which type of birds or butterflies are easy to attract or call so if you see our background that is the window balcony space that we it's not a balcony it's like a window space Two feet by twelve feet. That is okay. it. So we thought maybe yeah, let's just try planting trees, uh, some plants, some saplings. Uh, uh, maybe grow our own food like brinjals or uh, lady fingers, uh, mirchi or tomato or all that we tried, and then plant some flowering plants for the butterflies. Then uh, we installed bird feeders. Then we installed because uh, we used to always see out, outside the window there used to be parakeets flying around. There used to be sparrows which were getting which are getting extinct. We used to see some sparrow sparrows flying around the house. So we thought maybe let's try and you know do something to attract them because we could see them flying past the window, but they couldn't they they wouldn't sit anywhere. They would fly to the near nearest tree or you know far away. So we thought maybe just if we grow, start growing plants now. Maybe six, eight months down the line, the the window might start to be green or something. And sure, it did because we planted some creepers, uh, Krishna Vale, uh, Ganesh Vale, Ganesh Vale. You know, 
yeah so all those colorful flowers they uh, you know violet red white all those so those are also nectar uh, plants so okay. they they attracted purple rums and birds so and uh, you know on the plants there are some mites which grow uh, some Mealy insects bugs. some mealybugs so those also attract some certain species of birds which oh. eat those mealybugs so there are carnivorous birds there are birds that drink only nectar so that is how it started so we installed bird feeders we installed one bird feeder and uh, you know we put some bajra seeds in it oh and bajra we, and foxtail millet ha uh, bajra and foxtail millet seeds in it but the yeah. first sighting of the sparrows was after almost two months it so there were three or four sparrows that came and they started feeding on the uh, bajra seeds and okay. you, you know it, it's animals have a you know birds uh, whatever animals in them has a certain type of communication so when four sparrows came in the other bird species they noticed ah the sparrows are talking to this window there is something there and then right. the parakeets came in yeah okay. you know par- the, the uh, rose ring parakeets jo tota bolte hain Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. So, started coming to our, you know, they first came, you know, know, cables, the the uh, uh, the 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 cables, the the they started observing sparrows kya oh, and we yeah. used to observe them from the inside. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know to scare them. And yeah. then they realized कि यहाँ पे खाना है Hmm. and then they started calling all their family members you know pehle ek to tha and then then a couple came then they came with the kid then the entire flock came so we used to have around 15 20 parakeets all hanging on the wire and then coming and sitting on the trail and, and since it was only one feeder not every yeah. one could feed on it so Got they used it. to wait and then they started coming and then they started calling all their family members you know pehle ek to tha and then the entire flock came then they came with the kid then the entire flock came so we used to have around 15 20 parakeets all hanging on the wire and then coming and sitting on the trail and since it was only one feeder not every one could feed on it so they used to wait so do pehle aate the khate the jaate the and then the next flock used to come so this used to happen this started and happening so i say two three species aate hain right? different like sparrows are there rose leaf parakeets are there then look at other jab when they used to eat the bajra seeds two seeds niche gitte hain yeah. on the flower bed yeah. wahan pe bajra ke jhad aate hain and wo bajra ke jhad pe there used to come scaly breasted munias another species so one thing just to let me think now it's called a munia like for short you can call it a munia it's small tiny okay. so we observe that and that is very rare in a urban uh, landscape you know aap thoda a city ke bahar jaoge na so you can see those birds the munias but in a concrete jungle like ours we were very surprised and, and so thrilled ki yaar munia we have to travel you know 10 15 kilometers away to see them aur ye hamare khidki pe aate and there was just one munia okay. so we were like okay for one feeder se itna hota hai what if we install seven eight feeders in here? Oh. and then we uh, you know we hung seven eight feeders in line mm-hmm. and then the real we can bird bar and we can bird nest so chota nest aata hai because there, there are no trees around where will they build a nest so oh. we kept nest there uh, there were uh, magpie robin uh, parakeets opossums uh, parrots yes, mynas use bulbuls, those nests like you know they they started coming all these variety of species and they also need water right they need right. water to buy they clean themselves every day they're not like humans so <laughs> they need water every morning you you keep a sim clay pot filled with water in your balcony invariably you will see a bird feed any species yeah. they will come and they'll take so we kept two or three two or three pots and then uh, we kept of various sizes तो जो बड़े साइज होते थे उसमें बड़े बड़ आके नाते थे लाइक माइनस एंड बुलबुल्स जो छोटे होते थे उसमें मुनियास एंड स्पैरोस इवन द रोज रिंग पैरेटिक्स दे यूज्ड टू टेक अ डाइव सो ऑल दिस थिंग्स स्टार्टेड हैपनिंग एंड सो नाउ दीस आर ऑल बर्ड्स दैट ईट यू नो दे ईट ग्रेन्स एंड दे दे ड्रिंक नेक्टर फ्रॉम द फ्लावर्स इन एवरीथिंग नाउ एक दिन ऐसा हुआ कि वी ऑब्जर्व कि ऑल सो एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम देयर वर अराउंड 200 मुनियास in our balcony in this oh place. my god it's so beautiful so these munias are sparrow sized okay so you can imagine sparrow sized munias are very beautiful they're just they oh, cover this entire, entire entire because space 
Oh. Lot of oh, toys and it was such a beautiful sight. Yeah, and they, they used to come as couples and then they used to get their children along. They were travel tiny. shops. Very, very tiny yeah. uh, kids they used to bring and everybody they used to, to eat. Them. Yeah, I mean, it is really amazing. So it started all like for the viewers who want to start something like this from a small scale. So they need to first have a... a nectar breeding like the flowers which will have nectars right that is how yes. what they would attract and bajra seeds or certain seeds which would have certain fragrance for the you know species to come in basically yes so what we need water food and shelter right mm -hmm. so water is the third bath mm -hmm. feed the feeder to mm -hmm. feed them and nest to build a nest to build a yeah. home for them. a home for them got so uh, and also plants so yeah. what kind of plant? One is the nectar bearing, which are little flowering plants. So mm -hmm. that's sunbirds or any other birds which loves nectar, uh, uh, flowering nectar, they will come and feed on them. Uh, it will also attract butterflies. So butterflies also come on the host plant where they will lay eggs on. So there are there are lists like curry leaves, lemon plant, uh, stone safa, krishna veil. So there is a Krishna passion flower, you know, passion flower. Uh, uh, butterfly called as tawny because so they come easily on Krishna veil, uh, passion flower plant. Pan footy. Uh, which is uh, good for our kidney stone. Uh, it is called as uh, leaf, of leaf of life. So okay. uh, that plant is very easy to grow anywhere. And it grows very nicely. So, okay. and very easily maintained. Uh, maintained. So, that kind, those kind of plants you can plant. You just, uh, you know, nectar is one thing to attract butterflies. There okay. are some butterflies which are also mm. attracted to rotten fruits. The smell of rotten fruits is food for them. Like they're attracted to that, like rotten pineapple, apple, uh, Chico, banana, banana. Chico, citrus fruits. So if you keep those rotten fruits on your uh, plate, and just put in the window. Uh, they will immediately come. They will come. Even the birds will come to eat them. Yeah, even the birds. So the so the rotten fruits will also attract fruit flies or all different kinds of insects. So only yeah. the molecular birds. So ecosystem it generates itself. So all Achha. you have to do is put some food, water, and shelter. That's it. So these uh, fruits also help me introduce the beautiful world world of bees. So there were bees, different species of bees used to visit our window. Uh, some were feeding on the fruits, some were feeding on the uh, plants, uh, the fruits. Mm -hmm. So that is how I got introduced to bees and we have a stingless bee box at home. Uh, oh. uh, we also have a big hive here just behind Just me. behind us. Uh, <laughs> if, if we shift the I don't know if you're able to see there are around 10 lakh bees. It has yeah. come naturally because yeah, it just these came. bees, they found a green space in this concrete jungle. So they thought maybe this is a very safe place for us. Mm -hmm. And it started with like 60 bees forming a small hive. Now, it's been a year. Last March they had come. Last March they had come. We didn't disturb them. We, start, we let them, you know, multiply. And now it's yeah. a it's huge, huge. It's a And huge they, are, they are so friendly. They do nothing to us. And you can watch them like from a feet away. Yeah. You can watch what they are doing. I held them a hand and they just walk on my hand. And it's a beautiful feeling to watch them. God it's, so brave. it's very brave also of you guys to have a honey bee at home. Like, you know, a bee hive at home. It's very brave also, I would say. No, yeah. uh, actually, it's a very uh, it's a common myth. misconception yeah. that the I bees know. are harmful. So, you know, if the bee stings you, the bee dies. It will not sting you because yeah. it knows it is going to die if it stings you. If you let okay. them be, if you respect their space, if you give mm -hmm. them what they want, they will never even look, bother to look at you. They are okay. least concerned with humans. They yeah, are in their own world. Yeah? In fact, they are helping us. They are giving us honey. They are, they are introducing cross-pollination. They are spreading that pollen there and they are making a rainforest. They are making a forest. They are making something different. So bees are, you know, they are the our best source of pollination. 
आप कितने भी झाड़ लगाओ एक आदमी कितना भी झाड़ लगाए बीस जितना नहीं लगा सकते या 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 ट्रू ट्रू एंड मेरा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ऐसे होगा वॉट आर डिफरेंट साउंड आर देर एनी साउंड दैट यू नो यू कैन कॉल देम ऐसे कुछ है और इज इज अ मिथ क्या है ये ओके सो फर्स्ट ऑफ यस दे एनिमल्स कम्युनिकेट विद हेल्प ऑफ साउंड एंड दे टॉक इन वेरियस पिक्चर्स विच कुड मीन डिफरेंट थिंग मे बी दे आर कॉलिंग फॉर अ मेट और दे आर कॉलिंग फॉर देर किड हु इज लॉस्ट फ्रॉम द नेस्ट और मे बी दे आर कॉलिंग समन फ्रॉम देर ग्रुप की खाना मिल गया है यहाँ पे खा सकते हैं और मे बी इट्स अ साइन ऑफ एग्रेशन की दिस इज माई टेरिटरी डोंट एंटर इन टू इट सो दे यूज डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ वॉइस मॉड्यूलेशन to send their message across if we try to imitate them mm. we are interfering with their you know natural law mm. so that is a very uh, unfortunate thing that we humans do like i have i come from a birding community i go for birding a lot so uh, i know many birders who are in it only for the photography they don't care about the birds so what they do they play the songs on the mobile phone they don't know what it means i have seen it practically if you play a bird song the female gets agitated oh. on its partner because the partner thinks there's another female oh so you <laughs> believe in the people are chose my career wahan pe bhi chalu hai we are we are actually we are interfering with their natural cycle which is not advisable at all so okay. yeah there are you can play calls and all of that thing but the best thing you can do is put water put food and sit there patiently i would I like to add the best kind of communication that a human can have with the nature is uh, you know from the heart so there is something called as animal communication uh, in fact you should uh, do a vlog on that i did uh, i did you did okay great awesome so i we both truly believe in animal communication and we have communicated with birds uh, butterflies bees and there are instances which we can share and uh, very very beautiful instances with birds and uh, you know they actually communicated with us yeah uh, how we, example we, example yeah example please okay. so this place hidden oasis Uh, yeah. where we had the butterfly garden yeah so uh, during this work from home the uh, pandemic thing happened and the work from home was going on so we shifted there for around two months and okay. we were staying there and uh, one fine day i heard hornbills okay yeah, gray hornbills so i thought so it was the first time it was only 20 days we were staying there it was the first time i heard hornbills so i said okay. yes i want to photograph them So I planned that the next day uh, we would wake up early, like uh, me and one more person was staying there. We planned that we wake up early uh, and we would go and look for them. So the next morning when we woke up, it I think it was uh, uh, October or uh, September. Yeah. It was September or October. It was not winter, but when we woke up at seven o'clock, the entire area was foggy. Mm. It was so foggy that we couldn't see our hand in front of our face. Oh. Because that's okay. Something freakish happened on them, and we were so disappointed. In I was so disappointed because you know I heard the hornbill. I had planned for so many hours. I was very excited for the next day to come, and you know we would go birding, and then this happened. Okay. So you know I was sitting there and I was thinking and I was calling out to the hornbill. I wanted to see you, and this happened. Oh, telepathy. I wish I could have seen you. Like so, I communicated sort of, and you can call it a wish, a prayer, or whatever the communication. Yeah. So and uh, around nine o'clock when the sun uh, rose, everything was clear. I yeah. sat down with my laptop. There's an open area there in the hmm. farm. I sat down with my laptop, and that hornbill came right in front. Right wow. in front. Wow. Right in front. Wow. Like five feet away, and it sat on the tree which was right in front of me. And it said that kids made a photo. Jitna kids made for thirty, forty minutes it was there. Oh, long yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, it was It's there for a long time. I had a lot of photos. Kids, I said thank you as well. So yeah, it worked. 
telepathy okay. yeah i mean it works yeah people don't realize it but vibrations uh, all telepathy all this work like you know thank you for yeah. sharing that experience vivek really <laughs> um and now my next questions would be which birds or butterflies um can be found in particular season like suppose winters mein hai aisa kuch hai ki winters mein ye milta hai you know you can see these species aisa kuch hai so butterflies are cold blooded and they need warmth you know warm nature warm climate so okay. india is the best uh, place where you can find lot of butterflies very different kinds of butterflies uh, the best time would be pre and post monsoon where uh, you see lot of butterflies uh, around yeah so for for the birds uh, yeah birds are kind of like the categorized into different uh, Right. types like there are local migration there is cross country migration yes. there is uh, you know inter country migration so there are birds that stay in the himalayas uh, in the summer and when it starts to get colder they come down till kerala and then they go back again when it becomes hotter so uh, these are all migratory birds so there are some birds which are adapted to in the urban uh, setup like there are some owls there are rosing parakeets your sparrows your mynas and bulbuls bulbuls will be there are you know there are around 10 12 15 species in india but not all have adapted to the urban setting huh. only two or three bulbul species have adapted to you know the city okay so again and certain species are they need only certain type of habitat so there are some uh, for example there are some francolins the species of francolins which need grasslands or forest mein nahi rehta there are some type of birds uh, maybe you can say drongos which which need trees which need forest un log city mein nahi reh payenge so yeah it all depends on the habitat uh, which supports their you know life cycle okay in may uh, in may like you know april may uh, in summer seasons in our lifestyle you know कौन से बर्ड्स आर मोर विजिबल लाइक विच वी कैन सी माइग्रेटिंग बर्ड्स स्पेशली सो इन समर व्हाट हैपेंस इज यूजुअली वेडर स्पीशीज जो होते हैं व्हिच आर फाउंड सी शोर्स एंड सॉल्ट पैंस वो काफी आते हैं क्योंकि समर में वेरी हॉट सो ऑल द माइग्रेटरी स्पीशीज व्हिच आर द मोर कलरफुल वंस दे फ्लाई बैक टू द नॉर्थ so if you want to see uh, birds uh, various species you also have to travel with them yeah. you have to go to rajasthan you have to go to punjab you have to go to kashmir you have to go to ladakh you have to go to the northeast yeah. and birds if, which the birds that you find in northeast will never come to bombay they because their habitat is that they were they stay in their own forest halaki bombay mein bhi forest hai there's karnal forest there's tungareshwar forest But it's a different type of forest, dry forest. Yeah. North is all wet. So Correct. yeah, it depends on the habitat and it depends on you know. Yeah. Okay. What the situations? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So my next question now would be, um, which are the sounds that repel them? कुछ ऐसा है कि कोई sound होता है या something that can repel them? Uh, for birds, the worst repellent and uh, killing spray that you can say. is the pesticides that we spray on the plants uh it's a complete no no uh, we need to use good compost good good soil to maintain uh, the plants so uh, maintaining 200 plants is not easy at all oh, yeah. so that and without spraying any kind of chemicals it's a it was a big challenge but then we set up and we practiced a uh, home composting farming composting we uh we used all the uh, kitchen waste turning into a good manure good soil and uh, that is how all the plants are thriving uh, this the swarmy compost it, it had a lot of insects coming inside naturally uh, black soldier flies yeah uh, you know red wigglers we introduced them and these are food for the for some species of birds yeah. so as soon as we started you know putting that fertilizer the uh, home compost in the soil the birds different bird species immediately started coming in like magpie robins phantom flycatchers tailor, tailor birds. birds so yeah. these they all eat insects 
So right. we started observing that these guys are also coming in. And not just coming, they used to sit on the tree opposite and used to wait. <laughs> so then they also started visiting regularly. So not just seed eating birds, not just fruit eating birds, not just nectar birds, even the insect eating birds came. So you know, holistically we you know created a cycle, natural cycle, without any interference. And planting such big leaves that yeah, are... one more thing. If you can you see this big leaf tree here? Yeah, yes. It is, it is a fiddle leaf. So uh, there's a bird, uh, the tailor bird. It, yeah. It built its nest. It it it's like a tailor. It sews it, it sews the leaves. leaf. Amazing, what an experience to see. Yeah, you guys should write a book, yeah. really. <laughs> <laughs> and if we had time, we would have definitely <laughs> <laughs> to experience it. It's a very different magic. I know, I know. I see your reels. Nowadays, like you know, butterfly and all that, you know, plant pe caterpillar. Hai. I start seeing that now. Very nice, Varsha, really, and Vivek. Um, now, my next question is which are the common mistakes or misconceptions that people have with regards to this field? What would you like to share? Uh, for butterflies, uh, the most common uh, misconception is butterflies are pests and they eat away the plants. Which oh. are sadly wrong. In fact, butterflies are natural uh, pruning. They do natural pruning to the plant. They eat the leaves, yes. They, the caterpillars eat the leaves of the host plant. New leaves immediately come up. Oh. Uh, that's the same plant. In fact, when a butterfly lays eggs on the leaves, it yeah. knows that it has a chote leaves anini wale. That is how she will only lay eggs on the tender small leaves. So, okay. you know, they all are low. They all have that mm-hmm. communication in them. Because of them, we are alive. Yeah, true. And about birds, then, uh, any misconception Vivek would like to say, share? I don't know, there are a lot of superstitions you can say. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh, it could be based on religion, it could be based on experience. Mm-hmm. But, mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, there is nothing superstitious here. Like, for example, owls. Owls are a bad omen if you see them during the day. Oh, bichari ka khud din mein kya nahi? We are threat to humans, and we are actually cutting down trees and uh, you know uh, ma- making building metros and bridges and whatnot to support the uh, population overpopulation. That we are taking away their space. How can That's they true. be you know uh, a threat to us? But at least give a thought for them. Yeah, true. True, true. Hence this video. <laughs> Hence this vlog. <laughs> yeah. And I any other I hope you create awareness. And anything else that I must have missed asking uh, that is very important for the viewers to know, Vivek Varsha. If you really are interested in building a butterfly garden in your small window plane, you can contact us anytime. There are hundreds of people who message us every day and we can we just help them, you know, abhi kya karna hai, aise karna hai, kaun sa butterfly hai, kaun sa caterpillar hai. So we help them and we are very happy to share our uh, knowledge to them yes, and uh, you know, save them. That is all we can do. Knowledge has not come from books, it has come from experience. Yes. Yes, yes, definitely. I'm sure, and I'll be sharing your um, Insta handle also in the description. So, uh, to everybody, jinko bhi follow karna hai, jinko ye start karna hai, whoever is motivated, uh, please go um, learn and try to do your bit and like, share, subscribe to my channel <laughs> because yes. I'm trying to do my bit. <laughs> yes, yes, thank definitely. You, thank you, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so much.